that now you can add Postgres volatile functions under mutations, uh, right? So volatile functions in Postgres are basically functions in which you can do insert, update, delete, and so on. These were these are not allowed uh, if you have a stable function or an immutable function, uh, and hence Hasura was supporting stable functions, immutable functions under queries uh, because they are read only. But now you can also add volatile functions under mutations, and this means that you can do all kinds of business logic in your Postgres database. Uh, use stored procs if uh, that's. Uh, Lots of use cases where you can do business logic before writes, right? So let's start the environment here. Docker compose up. Okay, so I have a uh, container running. I want to show you what we are going to do. We are going to create an article table here. Again, let's use PSQL to initialize that. And let me go to the console now. So that's in 2003. So, one second. Uh, right. So I can track the article table. And what I want to do is kind of have my own insert for the article. I, I want to call it uh, add article. And it's going to do some business logic like checking the length of the article which is inserted uh, before. And if it uh, satisfies, then the insert goes through, otherwise it raises an error. Kind of like a small validation use case. So let's see what our function is uh, for adding this article. It there's a lot of boilerplate in creating a uh, creating a, a, a function in Postgres, but I think the important bits are that we are kind of checking the length of the content, which is an argument. And we are also taking author ID as another argument. So basically you can add article for an author ID with some content and we do a length check here. So I'm going to uh, track this. I can see add article is, so I didn't track it in the run SQL, I'll track it from here. Previously, if, if you were kind of looking at this page and if you had a function like that, which is doing insert, which is like a volatile function, you wouldn't even see that in this list because uh, volatile functions are not supported. But now you can do that and I'm going to click track. So this is tracked, which means that I can come here and I can see under mutation, I'll have an add article field, which takes an argument, which takes a few arguments. So I can give author ID, I can give content. Uh, say this is some large content right and and then i can get the data back with what whatever is inserted and this will kind of throw an error that article is too large i'm an admin i see a lot of errors but yeah essentially you'll see an error like this so if i just change it to something smaller here you go so this goes through, right? So I added a top level field under mutation, which is kind of running a Postgres function. Uh, so this was this was the essence of it, but now you would be wondering like, what is the permission system here? Because you might want to add uh, more role-based logic and use session variables and so on to like do uh, more authorized uh, business logic in your functions as well. So I will show you how that is done by adding another function, which kind of accepts the Hasura session variables. And this is similar to how uh, stable functions also work. You can kind of give Hasura session variables as an argument and run your own business logic uh, with the session variables that you have in your custom function. So let's call it add article, oh, let's just call it add article two. So I can see that there's an extra argument here called Hasura session. And what I am basically doing with Hasura session is that 
I am injecting the Xhustra user ID from the Hustler session variable here. So no matter what insert you do, uh, the author ID is always going to come from the Hustler session variable, right? So this is uh, this is basically the business logic there. And come back, get track, and let me add article two here and. So let me remove author ID. Oh, it's, it doesn't have a default. So let me give an author ID here, but let's see what happens, right? Uh, content. So again, let me just reload this. Oh. Oh, so okay. So the so the error kind of suggested what I was doing wrong. I have not actually modified this to actually set what my session argument is, right? Uh, so if you look at the function, I have a way to say that this argument, which can be arbitrary, is actually going to be populated by my Hasura session uh, variables that are passed from the authentication system, right? So now if I come back here and run this, I would see that uh, author ID is null because I didn't pass an accessora user ID. And if I pass that as say 10, so yeah, even though I am passing author ID here as uh, one, the final input is going to be 10. I can also remove that and insert content two and this kind of, okay, so there's a slight uh, issue here where you have to set default arguments if you're not providing uh, uh, all the arguments here, which can be done uh, at the Postgres layer or Hasura can add it automatically, make it like optional. But yeah, so th the essence of it is that you can kind of give any value like 200 and because of the way that you have set the, the way that you're using the Hasura session variables, you can uh, get the, actual author ID to be set from the session variables. So this was uh, custom functions under mutations. Uh, so if you have like Postgres volatile functions, you can add them now. You can use Hustler session variables there to uh, write your own authorization logic. If you have any custom authorization logic, you can use that there. And this also, so another thing about this is that uh, although we have returned the article table, it's also using the select permission system of your article table to give you the final result. So it gels well with the table permissions that you might have already set uh, on the article table. And you can do business logic of writing things inside the function, but the final set that is returned will apply the select permissions on your table also. And that is what is expected when you have a table return type and that's what Hasura will also do.